Right, so all the leaves falling off the trees. Um, having a pool house, a bit too cold to swim in. So it's sort of become my uh, boat play area. <laughs> so what have I built this weekend? Well, I've built a swath. Um, and it's a uh, small water plane area twin hull boat uh, swath and NASA worked on these in the 70s and uh, I'm trying to do the impossible here but you can see you've got two little holes underneath and the legs coming up to the top now those float bits on the side are really important because it still has to obey the basic idea of a boat because if they're not there it'll just topple over but what happens when they get submerged is you kind of get a fair amount of stability you see in the middle there I've just got some ballast that doesn't actually touch the water surface the uh, ballast container <laughs> but you look at the waterline profile look it's as uh, thin as a razor look so let's put her in and hopefully you can see what I mean so it's a bit like riding on the top of two submarines see that see the water line coming halfway up the uh, well you can call it the hull but it's not really the sides of the hull and uh, you can see that none of those blue hulls are actually on the surface now the advantage of that and I'll do some tests later on in another video but the advantage of that is it's not affected by the surface waves so Give him a little push like that. Can you see that? So those two holes are completely underneath the water and that's what separates a, a swath from a catamaran. Yeah. And the whole idea being that, that is that they can, that can take sea states better than a catamaran can. Um, I don't know if that's the case or not, but these things have fascinated me for years and uh, so anyway, I've built one, a very primitive one, deliberately so I can change various parameters, so those uh, foam lifters on the side, as I'm going to call them, those foam lifters I can uh, make them a little bit more elegant, but you've got to have something coming out the water because otherwise there's nothing that effectively balances when one side starts to sink while the other side starts to float. So, clever stuff really, but uh, as with all the stuff I do, I just uh, see what someone else has done and kind of try to duplicate it. Get the idea of that? So those foamy things on the side could be a third of that size. As long as they don't both go underneath the water. When they both go underneath the water, You've got absolutely no stability and it will roll over. So you've always got to have that little bit poking up, just like you would do on a normal hull. And then you get the impossible happening, which is it's riding on two little hulls. So I try and tip it over, it doesn't want to tip over. Doink, doink, quite stable. Despite the fact it must have a quite high centre of gravity. <coughs> okay, surface water plane air, small <laughs> water plane area, twin hull boat, <coughs> a swath. So uh, I'll put him over on the uh, chaise longy to uh, dry out. And that was my bit of fun for this weekend. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.